Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. Today's video will be a beginner's walkthrough of setting up the Air 3S for its first flight, from unboxing to installing the DJI Fly app. We'll provide a comprehensive DJI Fly walkthrough soon. Feel free as usual to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. This year, like last, DJI has continued to release drones at a very aggressive pace. With the holiday season upon us, perhaps you have or will be receiving a brand new Air 3S. Currently, the Air 3S comes in three combos. You have the Air 3S with the DJI RC N3 controller and one standard battery. The Air 3S Fly More combo, again with the DJI RC N3 controller, this time with three batteries. And a Air 3S Fly More combo with the DJI RC2 remote controller and three batteries. First, we'll talk about charging the Air 3S's batteries. Now, although getting a new drone can be exciting, the first thing that will need to be done is to charge all the batteries that come in the various packages and combos, including the remote controller batteries. Now, here's something to note. The DJI RCN2 that works with the Air 3 also works with the Air 3S. We'll talk about charging the RCN3 and the DJI RC2 controllers. Now, although your new RC might have approximately half power when initially open, it is important to fully charge the remote controller. Now, as is the case with previous newer DJI drones, the Air 3 also included, the Air 3S does not include a power adapter. A DJI 65 or 100 watt charger suggested, although we've found many brands of 65 watt and 100 watt PD chargers to work well. So to charge the standard RCN3 controller, plug the included USB-C cable into the bottom of the RC. The LED indicator lights will begin to blink, signifying the remote controller's charging. To charge the DJI RC2 with the 5-inch integrated screen, the USB-C charging port is located in the port to the right of the micro SD card slot. Plug the USB-C cable in, and the controller will begin charging. Now, moving on to the Air 3S batteries. Thankfully, the Air 3S uses the same batteries as the Air 3. However, the Air 3S does have one minute less flight time than the Air 3. The Air 3S has 45 minutes of flight time, which is down from the 46 minutes found with the Air 3. Now, of course, flight conditions and other factors will see various results in overall maximum flight times. With the Air 3S, as with the Air 3, there are two ways to charge the batteries. The first method, and this is for those who purchase the Air 3S with only one drone battery, the Air 3S battery can be charged while installed in the Air 3S. Locate the USB-C charging port in the rear of the drone. Insert the provided USB-C cable into the Air 3S and then into your 65 watt charger. The battery will begin charging. The second method, and this is for those who purchase one of the Flymore combos, you'll be able to charge all three batteries in succession, not simultaneously. To do this, insert the batteries into the Flymore Combo's charging hub and connect the included USB-C cable to either a 65 watt or 100 watt PD charger. The batteries will then charge individually one after another. If you have a Flymore Combo and also purchased an additional battery, then you can charge three batteries in the charging hub and use a separate USB-C cable in a 100 watt PD charger to charge the additional battery in the Air 3S itself. SD cards. Now, while the Air 3S does have 42 gig of internal storage, if you'd like to record lots of videos and photos, you'll want to purchase an SD card. If you purchase the DJI RC2, there is also an SD card slot in the remote controller. To insert SD cards into the Air 3S, make sure the Air 3S is powered off. Now, while holding the Air 3S in one hand, open the USB-C and SD card port. Carefully, insert the SD card into the Air 3S's SD card slot with the gold pin set pointing up towards you. 
Do not push the card in all the way just yet, as this can eject and fly away from you. Now while the SD card is in the slot, using your fingernail at a slight angle, push the SD card in until it makes an audible click. Because the SD card slot is spring-loaded, if you don't press the SD card in with a nail at a slight angle, your finger could slip, causing the card to force eject and be lost. Now we'll move on to inserting the micro SD card into the DJI RC2. With the RC2 powered off, partially insert the SD card into the DJI RC2 SD card slot, this time with the gold pin set pointed down or away from you. Then push the SD card in until it makes an audible click. Moving on to the propellers. If you purchase the Air 3S Flymore combo, the propellers are not installed on the Air 3S, but are instead located packed in the carrying bag. As is the case with all DJI drones, the propellers have to be installed on the correct motors. Two different sets of props must be installed on the Air 3S. The propellers have either black or gray markings and match the corresponding motor with the same color. Starting with the front left arm, the motor is colored black. The front right motor is gray. The rear right leg is black and the rear left leg is gray. With the correctly colored propeller for each arm and leg, push and twist the propeller onto the motor. You will feel when the propeller is seated onto the motor correctly. We'll now briefly talk about the control sticks. Whether you purchase the RC2 or RCN3 combo, the control sticks are not pre-installed. You'll find the two control sticks on the back of either remote controller in the two control stick storage slots. To install the control sticks, remove the control sticks from the control stick storage slots on the back of the remote controller. Locate the holes on the front of the remote controller and mount the control sticks on the front of the RC. The final step for setting up your Air 3S for flying would be installing the flight software or the DJI Fly software. Flight software is an app used by either a smartphone or electronic device and connected to your remote controller, which enables the Air 3S and remote controller to communicate, which is essential for flight control. The software that works for the Air 3S is the DJI Fly app. If you have a DJI RC2 combo, the DJI Fly app is preloaded on the remote controller. If you're using a separate electronic device with the RCN3 controller, you'll need to download the DJI Fly software. Where can you download the DJI Fly software? Well, if you're using an iPhone or iPad, iOS users can search for the DJI Fly app in the Apple App Store. The DJI Fly app for Android is only available online since it is no longer available in the Google Play Store. To download DJI Fly for Android, do a Google search for DJI Download Center in one of your internet browsers. In the results, choose DJI Fly and you'll be brought to the software downloads page. Now setting up or logging into your DJI account. Now that you have the DJI Fly app installed, it is time to set up your DJI account. You can either do so from within the app on your cell phone or using the DJI RC2. If you have a DJI RC2, it's advised for the initial setup to connect to DJI RC2 while near your home Wi-Fi. If you're not able to do so, you can connect to your phone's hotspot. First, turn on the RC by pressing once on the power button, then immediately press and hold the power button. After the DJI splash screen appears, you should be brought to the Welcome to DJI RC2 screen. Scroll through the list and choose your language. 
After choosing your language, hit Next. Accept the terms and conditions and press Agree. Now choose your country or region and press Next. You'll then be prompted to connect to Wi-Fi and this may be your hotspot. Now a note here, you'll need to connect to Wi-Fi if setting up a DJI account through the DJI RC2. Now choose your Wi-Fi network from the list of active networks. Enter your Wi-Fi or hotspot password. After entering the password, press the blue check mark, then press OK at the top right of the screen. Select your time zone by tapping the current time zone on the screen, and in this case, yours might be Beijing. Then, scroll through the list until you find your current time zone, and press Next. Press Confirm on the note that pops up. If you have a DJI account, you can log in here, or you can choose Create Account. Now, if you have the RCN3, Without being connected to the RCN3, from a cell phone or smart device, launch the DJI Fly app and go into Profile. Once in the Profile screen, go to Log In. Input the phone or email you would like to register with and be sure to check off the I Have Read section at the bottom. If you already have a DJI login, input that information here. Well, that's all for this video. Stay tuned for a tutorial that goes through all the functions of the DJI Fly app. For more tutorials and reviews, feel free to head to DroneBlog.com.